and we use our imagination to place ourselves in divine position in the heavens, up in the sky looking down. We can use our understanding from life energy philosophy to help us understand what we might see. Let's imagine the world from a divine position where you can see everyone's life energy just like we can with the biosensor and just like those who are able to see auras can see. What would it look like? Well firstly, we would all look like the coloured lights of a decorated Christmas tree. At any moment, our own light could be a different colour, a different size and a different brightness. We change the colour, size and brightness of our own personal light each moment by changing what we're thinking and how we're thinking it. When we think of the view of our world from a divine position, it's easy to see how spiritual people derive to the terms light and dark. Sometimes our personal light is bright and sometimes it's dark. When our consciousness is balanced and our life energy flowing with synchronicity, our personal light is bright. When our consciousness is self-focused and our life energy flow unsynchronized, we look much dimmer. Prayers make more sense too. Whenever we say a prayer and we observe with the biosensor, we find the top part of our aura goes white. We get a bright light on our head. This certainly would attract the attention of anyone observing from a divine position. What would we look like all together? As we draw back, all of our personal lights would blend. Altogether, we would be bright or dim, depending on how many of us were balanced at that moment and how many of us were self-focused. If we look at the truth of our current reality, the view from a divine position would be rather dim during most moments lately, not exactly a nice place to visit. We can all make a difference to the brightness of our global light, our global consciousness, simply by accepting our own responsibility to keep our own personal light bright. To do this, we just need to keep our consciousness balanced, to be a good person. If you were in God's shoes, viewing our world from a divine position, would you want to visit us during times when we were all so dim? Just some food for thought.